So a quick video here to follow up my um, protein video from yesterday. I had a little uh, rant on Twitter tonight, but I realized that uh, a lot of people don't follow me on Twitter. You actually should follow me on Twitter. So uh, I'll put a link to that down below. Follow me on Twitter. Because um, I say a lot of random crap there, and I really should make videos about it, but I don't. So I actually am this time. And it's uh, about protein, like I mentioned. So tonight uh, I had my dinner, and I'm looking at my Twitter feed here, and I'm, I'm trying to uh, uh, figure this out. I uh, calculated, did a rough calculation of the food I ate today, and I, f I forget about stuff that I eat all the time because I just eat all the time, but it was a pretty low-calorie day for me, and um, all I did was sit at the computer all day. I did like 45 minutes of of commuting on the bike. I could actually check my Garmin, but it was 45 minutes of easy commuting, half of it was coasting. So let's say 20 minutes of exercise. Um, I had roughly 5,400 calories, um, no less than 1,310 grams of carbs. Um, and it was roughly, let me see, add this up. I had, I don't know, something like 115 grams of protein or 120 grams of protein, which is actually about um, 0.7 grams per pound of my body weight. And so that is at like the high end of, let's say, government recommendations or pretty average recommendations for like an, an active person and you can look this up on Google 0.7 pounds or 0.7 grams per pound of body weight so I mean that's on a day that I did very little exercise and sat at a desk for 12 hours it'll be more than 12 hours here by the time I'm done with this video and you know I ate nothing but plants my dinner was this um, vegetable pasta stuff. Here, I'll go grab it. This was my dinner. Din dinner number one, I should say. This is the information I took the calories and protein and all that stuff from. Um, I had a bag of mi mixed vegetables. Um, I cooked up some, um, I boiled up some potatoes. Um, I had dates. I may have underestimated the amount of dates that I ate today. And I had, oh, I forgot about a couple bananas too. I had at least um, five or six big bananas. So, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I don't even remember half the stuff I ate. And I drank a, a soda too in, uh, just to be uh, transparent and anyway a uh, thousand calories of rice for um, for lunch that may be an underestimate on the rice as well um, but I, I did the data based off a thousand calories because I think it was right about a thousand calories I don't count calories it's a fucking waste of time and um, for breakfast I think I had five papayas I might have had seven um, so I just went with the low end on the papayas, about 1,500 calories of papayas. And, um, you know, so all I ate was papayas, vegetables, rice, and some pasta. And I got tons of protein. Tons of protein. I mean, I, don't, I probably don't even usually get that much protein. Like I said, I don't know. I don't even keep a food log anymore because it was such a waste of my time. <laughs> I would put all these foods in there and weigh everything with a digital scale and all this stuff. And there was everything was always maxed out on the charts. I've had blood work. I have no deficiencies. I'm fine. And, uh, you know, this is... It's just, just crazy. So... If the reason that you eat meat is for protein, don't worry about it. As long as you eat enough calories from plants, and I do have to put some emphasis on this, you do have to eat enough. 
you will get your protein. The, the problem is you see all these anorexic vegans out there, and they're the ones that have, like, really shitty skin color. You're probably thinking I have shitty skin color because I make my videos in shitty light. Anyway, um, you see these, like, skinny, gaunt vegans. Those are the people that just sit around and eat salads with a couple croutons and eat some vegan potato chips. <laughs> I mean, these aren't people that are actually eating fucking food in any sort of quantity. So if you want to live, eat lots of food. Like I said, this is a low calorie day for me. I mean, I have a minimum requirement. Whenever I've felt like bad, I've always roughly added up my caloric totals and I've always been under 4,500 calories. These are non-exercise days. These are days where I've been injured and haven't exercised in freaking weeks. All right. I've got my metabolism cranked because I eat lots of food. So <laughs> I'm, I'm at, you know, Actually, if I count those extra bananas and stuff, I'm at like 56, 5,700 calories for today. And I felt like I starved all day because I didn't have any food. <laughs> I had to go buy some at the store tonight. So um, there you go. You can sit around and I, like I said in my little rant on my tweet, you get all these people like eating 2,500 calories of paleo food. They eat eggs and bacon and all this shit, and they have no fucking energy to do anything, despite what they tell you. Oh, they're fat adapted, and they have lots of energy. Well, maybe they maybe they have more energy than the when they were on a standard American diet and sick and dying from some disease and were on meds, but they don't have very much energy, and they still struggle with their weight problems because... All you have to do is search this stuff. You can search Twitter. You can, I don't know, go to, I haven't been on there for a long time, but you could probably go to Paleo Hacks and you still see all these people with all these struggles and they're not even eating very much. And they they struggle with their weight and stuff. So if you want to have energy and you want to lose weight and you want to just feel good all around, you can eat lots and lots of plants and you can get plenty of protein from that. And there's tons of nutrition in there. All these vegetables and stuff. Tons of vitamins and minerals. I mean, even this... I mean, this freaking stuff is processed. And it's still... I mean, loaded. This one's actually fortified. It looks like with iron and folic acid and stuff like that. But there's still a lot of nutrition in this. I mean, it's a... I don't actually know if this is a whole grain wheat, but it has like, it's made with like spinach powder and um, it's durum and spinach powder and tomato powder and carrot powder and stuff. So it's just all powderized vegetables and crap. And it has a surprising amount of nutrition for a crappy processed food that costs the dollar thirty nine for a box. And I just pour the whole box into a rice cooker and just turn the thing on push the button down and let it cook itself so anyway this is an eight minute video but uh that's a rant I, i'll link to my twitter account you can see little rants and i don't know maybe it'll be 50 500 tweets down by the time you see this but uh anyway that's a summary so you know 5700 calories 1400 carbohydrates basically um I don't know, 115 grams of protein or something like that, I don't think I'm going to get a protein deficiency. And I don't think you're going to get a protein deficiency either as long as you eat enough food. That's the moral of this story, the moral of this video, whatever you want to say. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you want. I'm going to start making a lot more videos. And eventually I'll probably get some lighting so that the, the quality is a little bit better and it doesn't look like I'm a freaking zitty-faced 15-year-old. Um, that's it. See ya. Yeah.